and all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, the hiring manager should know how that feels. I believe that. And and they need to be accountable to their decisions. Yes. That's, I think that's where HR gets a, a, a lot of the bad rap. And, and yes. you know, especially from a talent acquisition, we'll bring it back to talent acquisition. Yes, from yes. From acquisition standpoint, we get it all the time. Um, and, and I'm working on a post now about this. It's just like, we didn't write the job description. <laughs> Recruiters do not write the job description. They do not. You know, Katrina Kibben will say this, and I agree with her. We're horrible at writing postings too. But we have qualifications and we might not agree with them, but we have to follow them. So yeah. if for whatever reason, they, the hiring manager wants a master's degree and 10 years of experience, and you have a bachelor's degree with seven years of experience, you don't qualify and we shouldn't consider you. And that's nepotism. Hmm. Um, that, mm -hmm. Not exactly nepotism, but that's where, you know, that's where people, and, and they blame HR. Oh, HR is holding me back. HR is doing, no, we're holding the hiring manager accountable to the, re the requirements that they said they need. Yes. And if you have less than that, then they need to go back and relook at their job description. And maybe everything's fine. Maybe it won't change the salary range. Maybe, you know, those things won't happen. But I have worked places where, well, if it's not, a, if a bachelor's degree isn't required, then you need to not five grand off the pay range. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, yeah, I have a bachelor's degree. I don't know why. <laughs> you know, let's be honest. Let's yeah. be honest about it. We all went to school because we were told you have to have a bachelor's bachelor's degree to get a good job. Mm -hmm. But what what does that bachelor's degree that I got 30 years ago tell you about who I am today okay. and what I can do today? Nothing. And what does it tell you about the person that even even the person that just comes out of school? Yes. Do they, you know, do they still know? No. You know, now my English degree probably does help me more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some of those other degrees do. <laughs> But you know, I think about like mechanical engineering because I did I hired engineers for a while. Mm -hmm. How in, mechanical engineering has got to have changed from the time from 30 years ago. Yeah. And you know, I know there's certifications and licenses, so you're keeping up to date and all of that. Mm -hmm. But does that bachelor's degree 30 years ago, or even a master's degree 20 years ago, still have validity now? Does it still have validity now? And does it still does it say who?